about to show these boys how we do it. You ready? Higher, further, faster, baby. Yes, baby. Higher. Further. Faster. Try to keep up. Woo! What is good, YouTube? What's you here with a video on Captain Marvel, but we're talking more about the controversy that is going around about Brie Larson. So this is going to be a long video. Buckle your seatbelts, get your popcorn ready, because we're going to talk. So, for the last week or so, I've been tagged, I've been DM'd on Instagram and Twitter regarding Brie Larson, not Captain Marvel, but they're referring to Brie Larson in the Captain Marvel role. So, how did this start? So, let's get into the video. So, Brie Larson raises money for Captain Marvel Challenge with the Ellen Show. So, I couldn't insert the clip, I tried to, but they strike. it got a strike, so I had to edit that out. So, what happened? happened is there's a Captain Marvel challenge which is just like the Black Panther challenge that was done this is not actually done by Brie Larson right she didn't start the campaign she says that in the clip she is just supporting it to it's a fundraising campaign essentially to allow younger kids to see the Marvel Studio action in in action basically so it's to help people that can't afford to go watch the movie go watch the movie so essentially she went on the ellen show and she did a bunch of dancing and then the ellen show donated ten thousand dollars towards this charity which is interesting so obviously this charity is a gofundme page and essentially if you read the page it says this any additional funds raised outside the hosting experience will go towards non-profit girls in LA, we have stories to support problematic efforts, girls in LA. LA has a major growth initiative to expand services by reaching 2,000 girls by 2020. We have stories continues to commit to providing funding to under represented storytellers and content creators so essentially it's a gofundme campaign the goal was twenty thousand dollars and they've overreached it essentially to send girls to see captain marvel and i've been tagged in a bunch of other content creators videos but i'm not going to mention who they are because that's there's no real need so the narrative some people are spinning are brie larson is retweeting everyone with a gofundme campaign because she wants more people to go watch her own movie. No, I, I don't really think this is the case. I honestly just think she's sharing it so more people can go see her movie. As we know, Marvel are pushing Brie Larson to be the face of the MCU going forward after her own movie. So she will be appearing in Avengers Endgame. So a lot of people online are having an issue with a female coming in, being more powerful than Thor, being more powerful than Iron Man, etc. But obviously, Kevin Feige has said she's going to be the most powerful character going forward. She essentially is the future of the MCU and some people aren't happy about this but I want to defend Brie Larson because I don't really think it's her problem because guys she applied for a role she did the test screening she did all that stuff she got the job and they're like yeah you're going to be the face of the MCU for the next 10 years or so. She's obviously signed some kind of contract for 6 to 10 years uh, with a bunch of different movies probably 5 or 6 so it doesn't really matter to her if this movie does well because obviously she's most likely already being paid to do the movie she filmed it she's obviously got to do pr she's got to do premiere she's got to do all this stuff so her supporting a gofundme campaign it's getting a lot of hate now i i can see why kind of because this is sort of helping her own movie and a bunch of people are like well she could have just spent the twenty thousand dollars herself to help these kind of underprivileged people but I don't think just because she's rich and famous that she has to kind of do that. I mean, just by her retweeting it, just by her going on the Ellen show, she's she's helping these underprivileged people. So, yeah, I've, I've done a bunch of research for this video because I was tagged in a lot of it. But if you do go on the GoFundMe campaign, it does explicitly list why, what's going on, everything. It seems to be a legit charity, like girls is in CLA.org is on the GoFundMe page but obviously so essentially what Brie Larson has been doing is on her Twitter account she's been retweeting these campaigns so more people can go see a movie yeah 
sure it will mean that the numbers for her movie are higher but i don't think she's running some kind of conspiracy theory to make everyone go see a movie and to make everyone go yeah i'm the strongest avenger i'm la, la, la. like i said she applied for a role she got it she just happens to be a female i mean it's not like she's the first female ever in the mcu black widow is amongst the most popular characters in the mcu gamora essentially is the main star of the gardens of the galaxy there's nebula Tony Stark would be nothing without Pepper Potts. So females have been pretty strong in the MCU. They've just not had their own lead as of yet. But as we know, going into the phase four, if it is the phase four, there are compelling stories saying that it's just going to be a bunch of self-contained stories with some stories being like interconnected. So there's not realistically going to be phases. But at the moment, we know there's going to be phase four. So essentially, I'm making this video because I think it's pretty wrong. Like everyone's going at Brie Larson when all she's doing is helping underprivileged people who can't afford to obviously go to the cinema because it can be quite expensive at times i mean it, one of the kind of cinemas in london if you want to go to that one can cost you up to 50 pounds for certain screening so yeah it can be pretty expensive so for some reason she's come under massive fire um i mean all she's been doing is retweeting and helping these gofundme pages uh i can't realistically see anything wrong with it to be honest and also there's a bunch of other stuff the conspiracy theories saying yeah it's not about feminism she's pushing it feminism okay let's get this right so males it, the mcu has been male dominated for the last 10 years and now that kevin feige and obviously the people at marvel and disney want to kind of be more equal opportunity they want females to have the same opportunities i guess this is all coming from how popular wonder woman was because you got to give it to dc like obviously gal gadot wonder woman was the first person to get the kind of the most modern solo movie so it's all right for wonder woman to push feminism but but for some reason, there seems to be a massive hate train going towards Brie Larson. And I've seen endless YouTube videos of people saying, I'm not going to go watch a movie because it's nothing like the comic book character. Of course, it's nothing like the comic book character. Because if that was the case, guys, you'd be going to watch a movie that you already know what's going to happen, like Avengers Infinity War, Avengers Endgame. Essentially, it is running from the Infinity Gauntlet storyline in the comic books partially but if it was a carbon copy you'd already know how they're going to defeat thanos but a lot of people are angry at them having a female coming in overpowering thor overpowering captain america overpowering every single mcu characters and i don't think it's a case of being feminist or being sexist i mean i've even seen some videos of girls being no i don't want brie larson to be the strongest mcu character ever but you've got if you don't support what marvel is doing i've seen a bunch of people saying things like yeah i'm not going to go watch captain marvel movie well, if you don't watch the Captain Marvel movie, why are you talking about reasons why you don't want to watch the Captain Marvel movie? Like I said, this isn't my normal content. I'm doing this video raw. But if you don't go and watch the Captain Marvel movie, you're going to miss a massive part of the story leading up to Avengers Endgame. Now, there isn't just females in this Captain Marvel movie. There's Nick Fury, played by Samuel Jackson. There's Agent Coulson. There's a bunch. There's Jude Law. Uh, there's a bunch of male characters in this movie so it's not just female orientated yes the main star is a female but nick fury is there as well so i don't see the kind of hate train towards brie larson she's playing a character um i mean a lot of people are bringing up that she's a feminist she said a lot of stuff in real life i mean quickly let's go over something she said so there's one story that's being pushed and it's kind of in my opinion pushing the wrong narrative and it's taken completely out of context so it says this brie larson it's a sub quote of what she said i don't want to hear what a white man has to say so no i don't really think she hates men because if you go down and read the actual kind of what it says is she said this I don't need a 40 year old white dude to tell me what didn't work about a wrinkle in time. It wasn't made for him. I want to hear what it meant to be a woman of color. Am I saying I hate white dudes? No, I'm not. What I'm saying is if you make a movie that is a love letter to women of color, there is an insanely low chance of a woman of color will have a chance to see your movie and review your movie. And I kind of agree of what it's saying. There should be more diversity in the entertainment, in reviews and stuff. It shouldn't just be black and white. It should be kind of 
evenly fair reviewed so no i mean there's a lot of people pushing like she's against white males clearly she's not i mean you can see she's worked with a lot of them i mean she co-starred in kong skull island with tom hiddleston if she really hated white males would she co-star in movies with other white males no i don't think she's racist or she's kind of pushing the feminism gender like everyone is trying to say marvel might be trying to do swj's social justice warrior kind of thing by pushing females but do you honestly think there is no male lead movies coming out in the next phase i mean tom holland spider-man far from home is the first movie in the next phase yes they're going to bring someone like that's so overpowered and half the reason people are getting triggered is because She's coming in. We've never seen her before. She can fly. She can time travel. She can shoot photon blasts out of her hand. Is she replacing Thor? No, there's only one Thor. But she's going to be just as good as Thor. I can't see... I, I can't even see... Guys, comment down below. I honestly can't even believe I'm making a video on this. Because I wouldn't normally go about this. But I've been tagging it. What is you? What is your comment? And this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking people are blowing it out of proportion. Just go and see a movie. I don't think her funding... Like like supporting a GoFundMe campaign is really that bad. They did the same thing with Black Panther. I mean, to, to help some people watch that. Is that really that bad? No, it wasn't bad then. Why is it bad now? Because obviously, yeah, if she supports it, her movie would do better at the box office in theory. But it's already tracking $200 million opening week weekend. And reports are coming out that it will be one of the best Marvel movies ever made. So if it's really that good, if Kevin Feige, if Bob Iger, if the whole of Disney and Marvel are backing her to lead the Marvel Cinematic Universe for the next 5 to 10 years, do you honestly think that she doesn't kill the role? So I'm not really coming at anyone I'm just trying to say, watch the movie, judge the movie on her. I don't think her sharing a GoFundMe campaign on Twitter is really a kind of pushing a mass agenda for her movie to do well. Projections for movies are generally 90% correct. So a movie's going to do well anyway. The test, the internal test screening went very well. It's getting very good reports, but I don't really think she hates white men um i just think sometimes the media take things out of proportion i mean yes youtube is a platform but it's not really like a blogging site it's more of a kind of a, a video content site so guys let me know down below have you seen any of these like videos or articles and stuff where people are bashing brie larson for supporting a gofundme campaign because realistically does she have to pay the money herself to support funds like this? I don't really think she does. Just because she's a celebrity, just because she's got a lot of money. you got to think, would you, if you had a lot of spare money, would you do the same thing? Probably not, but you probably said you would, but would you really? But if she did it, like, you got to put yourself in her situation, guys. If she did it for one GoFundMe campaign, she would have to start funding every single GoFundMe campaign, which would cost millions if, if she funded absolutely everyone. So I can see why she hasn't personally put money into it, but she is supporting it because there's a bunch of GoFundMe campaigns who would what are doing pretty well you got to think these superhero movies inspire like young kids that they get people at dark times most people grew up watching comic book movies you got to think stan lee created spider-man who essentially all his characters helped inspired help people get out of hard times help inspire people so if there are some young kids that want to go watch captain marvel but they can't afford to why is she getting bashed and discredited because she retweeted something on a social media website and it's it's a good like i don't really think like if this movie hits 1 billion that it's realistically going to make any more sense because she is guaranteed a second movie already she's the face of marvel going forward so i i just think people should just stop the kind of social justice warrior the kind of they're going feminism maybe they are maybe they are pushing females but let's be honest it's been a male dominated category for such a long time and there's so many cool stories that they, they could potentially do if 
they had female movies. We know we're getting this movie. We know we're getting Black Widow movie. And there's going to be a bunch of other solo movies. Potentially, there's a Valkyrie-based movie with other people. We know on the Disney streaming service, we're getting Scarlet Witch and Vision. And uh, there's a bunch of other stuff. So, guys, let me know everything down below. Sorry about the video, but I've been asked a bunch of times what my thoughts are. They are my thoughts. I don't think she's done anything wrong. She's just trying to help people that are trying to watch a movie. But if you do want to have a conversation down below about this video, please let me know down below and don't take it too serious, guys. I'm just going over a topic that I've been asked too many times to address. I didn't want to address it because personally, I can't wait to go watch this movie next month. And it looks pretty awesome, but I'm not going to judge the whole movie based on a few trailers when all she realistically says in this trailer so far is a Kree warrior hero. That's all she says. There's a lot of stuff talk about, yeah, she's trying to push that she's the strongest person in the world. No, she's not really trying to push that. We've hardly seen the talk in the trailers, to be honest. Nick Fury's taking the lead in most of the trailers at the minute, to be honest, except for her going super OP with her pals. Anyway, guys, please like, subscribe, and comment. Like I said, guys, please don't take this video too seriously. Drop it down below, guys. We'd love to have a conversation with you. And I will catch you in the next video very soon. Catch you later. <laughs>